Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening. Uh, my name is Henry, and today I'm uh, Alex, C2 um, evaluator. Um, today, uh, Alex is a little bit nervous, um, but he uh, really worked hard uh, to, to practice it. And although he, he got stuck on the stage um, just a little bit, uh, but miraculously, he always can come back very fast, which is very uh, impressive. And why he can do that is because he is not uh, memorized the script. He is uh, memorized the he's, um, he memorized the key points of the speech. Um, the the key points in his script are have some relationship, and those relationships are totally uh, logical. So it's very easy to to come back when he got stuck on the stage. So um, let's look at uh, the organization of his speech, um, and we'll find is the key, the key, the, inter uh, the relationship between those key points are um, very logical. <coughs> First paragraph, um, he mentioned that he was a choppy boy, and he met his um, uh, roommate, and his roommate's body encouraged him to to start jogging, right? And then. The following three paragraphs, uh, he mentioned the three benefits of jogging. The first one is uh, it increased the metabolism, and so that he can burn burn the fat very burn the fat very fast. And the second one is it, it helped him sleep better. And he had insomnia uh, before, but after he started jogging, uh, he he got better. And the third one is uh, if jogging can help him to uh, reduce the stress. Uh, he mentioned that when he went to library or to study, after a while he would find it hard to concentrate and then he would go jogging. And it helped him to think more clearly. Right? And then the fourth paragraph, uh, the last paragraph, he concludes all the benefits of the jog of jogging. And I have a few suggestions for you. Uh, first is uh, visual ads. Um, why don't you use some of the... You mentioned that you were a choppy boy in, in high school, but you didn't show a picture. And a lot of us are <laughs> curious about um, what would you like if you were getting like 20 kilograms. And also, um, the second suggestion is um, Try to catch the audience um, because it's hard. Uh, how how do you keep the people you are speaking to engage? Um, to be maybe those suggestions to be uh, unpredictable. Uh, maybe like for example, you never know what next next moment you will do. Right? So oh you know you did a great great speech. I'm looking for your three three speech. Okay, here is uh, some advice for you guys. Okay, if you have to walk on the stage, you have to walk hand to the like me G, shake hand like me the G, and if you will leave, and you have to shake hand with me too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Okay. Here we come to our third evaluator. He is a living legend in our postmates. He almost sacrificed himself to the TM. Okay, let's welcome Johnson. I don't shake hands with you. Uh, good evening everyone, my name is Johnson. And tonight I'm Steve's evaluator. And Steve, you did a C2 speech. As a C2 speaker, you should organize your speech. So I will analyze your speech using three parts, or maybe uh, two parts. The first part is your structure, uh, your opening, your body, and conclusion. And the second part is the very part of my, of, uh, it's the very part I think, and I will give you some suggestion. First of all, your opening, you give us a, a very surprising opening, opening, like, what the, what a wonderful speech, Steve, you gave us a really wonderful speech. And, and then, you go through your body. At the, at the beginning of your body, you ask us a question. What is the 
bad language. And then you move on to how we use a bad language like, wake up, wake up, back. <laughs> or, and then you go, you go on and keep saying, oh, your teacher sometimes tell you good words, so uh, good words is good. And then you compare good word and bad word. And is it any difference between good word or bad word? Or there's no difference because words are like cultures. And they could be good or bad, just use it at the right time. And then it's your conclusion. And my favorite part of your speech is your delivery. You deliver your speech at a very comfortable speed. Like the red is not too fast or nor too small. Like when you say, you even stop for a, stop for a while for the audience to digest your question. And that's, I think, I like your speech very much. And the most important thing, I think, is that you use the four, the or the, the a lot of signal to interact with the audience if Megas laugh so happily. So I think your interaction with audience is very good. And then, I think your analysis of the good word and bad word is also my favorite part. Like, I always think that saying bad word sometimes is not so bad. Saying good word sometimes is not so good. And why? Because you say it's also a part of a culture, so you already solved my question. And still, I have to give you some suggestion. Like, I think, I think uh, when you deliver your speech, you only stand here. Like, where you are using the board to interact with the audience, you still stand at the same point. You know, there are a lot of people here. You can interact with people here, or say to the world to maybe Malfoy, or next you say to the world to uh, Lawrence, and to everyone. Like, use your stage to interact more with the audience. And uh, I'm going to be a little bit picky. Like, your conclusion, you say that you have to say the right word at the right situation, right condition. And then, what is the right word you think you will say to us after you deliver your speech? I think you can give us one word or one sentence. Say, I think the right word now is, I should return my control back to Blake. <laughs> Okay, after the Johnson Liberator. Okay, here comes to the last Liberator. She's a really beautiful girl. And <laughs> <laughs> she has been more beautiful day by day after I met him. Uh, 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 and what's more, she's the heart of our GM. Okay, let's welcome Christine.